Welcome back to another episode of Niger Athletics Weekly. We're here to talk about some of the great performances from this past weekend in athletics that are really highlighting the start of the 2020 Olympic season. So starting off with some of the international performances, first at the ISTAF Berlin meet that went down in Germany, we saw Esse Brume in that women's long jump, the bronze medalist from the Doha World Championships last year. She got out to a personal best of 6.79 meters in that long jump. Really strong personal best, improves upon the personal best she set last weekend so showing some great consistency she finished second only to Malaika Mihambo who was the gold medalist in Doha who managed to jump 7.07 .07 meters but again this shows the consistency for Esse Brume she's definitely looking to improve upon the 2019 bronze medal she got in Doha definitely going for something big in 2020. Also in Berlin Germany we did see Tobia Musa in those 60 meter hurdles who's been very consistent all 2020 indoor season here was no different she got a very comfortable win 7.93 seconds a lot of distance between the rest of the field this is actually the ninth time that she's gone under eight seconds in the 60 meter hurdles this indoor season both including heats and finals so again consistency is unmatched she is definitely really improving and i think this is going to translate to the 100 meter hurdles outdoors so keep a lookout for toby musan and esse Brume. now to finish things off internationally this time in the ncaa we saw ruth usoro who competes for texas tech she was competing at a home meet in texas and managed to get a long jump personal best as well 6.57 meters that's a personal best and that's number three in the NCAAs this year so great performance for her really the second week that she's improved her personal best in the long jump showing great consistency like the other ladies she also is very highly ranked in the NCAA in the triple jump so looks like she's going to be going for some top spots at those NCAA champs both in the long jump and the triple jump so keep a lookout for Ruth Usoro now let's take a look at some of the local performances in Nigeria we had two all-comers meets that went down this past weekend, one in Ozoro in Delta State and then another all-comers meet in Akure at the Federal University of Technology in Ondo State. So starting off with the all-comers meet in Akure, we had a very hotly contested 100-meter dash on the men's side. Enok Adegoke, he managed to come up for the 100-meter win, 10.32 seconds, taking first place in that A final. Great performance for him. He was followed very closely behind by Ijesa Uruemu, who ran 10.35 seconds in that final for second place. This is after just running 10.34 in the heats of the 100 meters. Also in third place, very close behind as well, Jerry Jakpa, who competes for the MOC team. He managed to run 10.40 seconds just after running 10.41 in the heats of the 100 meters. So great consistency for Jakpa there. So really great overall performances in the men's 100 meters. Also on the women's side in the 100 meters, we had great performances there as well. Grace Uwakocha, she had run 11.52 seconds in the heat which is a personal best for her then in the final she came back and took the win first place in 11.38 seconds that would have been a personal best but the wind was 7.6 meters per second so unfortunately over the allowable limit in second place we had joy udo gabriel who runs for moc as well in the heat she ran 11.77 seconds came back for the final and managed to get second place in 11.59 seconds so really great performance for her then behind them we had praise idama dudu who had run 11.70 seconds in the heat came up for third place in the final 11.66 seconds so great performances for the men and the women in those 100 meters now in the 200 meters first on the men's side we had Emmanuel Ojeli who's an MOC athlete he got a great personal best of 20.94 seconds really strong performance for him taking the win in that 200 meters followed behind by Ijesa Uruemu who got second place in the 100 he came back in the 200 ran 21.32 seconds for overall second place so great performances for that men's 200 meters on the women's side in the 200 meters, we had Favor Ophili, who has been very consistent over the past couple seasons. She ran a personal best to take the first place in the 200, 23.07 seconds. Huge performance. Again, personal best for her. Definitely one to look out for during the 2020 season. On the 400 meters for the women, we had Gloria Patrick. She got the first place in 54.50 seconds. Great strong performance for her in that 400 meters. We also had Blessing Oladoya, who competes for the MOC team as well she got out to a second place in that women's 400 meters 54.96 seconds so great performances in that women's 400 on the men's 400 meter side we had Sikiru Adeyemi he managed to get a very comfortable win 46.57 seconds very comfortable win in his heat taking the overall first place so great performances there there were a couple athletes who competed at the Ozoro all comers meet and made a six hour trip by road over to the Akure all comers meet and managed to compete there we saw one athlete in particular Abe 
Joye Oyeni. He managed to run the 110 hurdles at Ozoro, getting the win in 14.03 seconds. Made the trip over to Akure and got the win in the 110 meter hurdles there, 14.39 seconds. So really strong performances both meets for him. Also at the Ozoro meet, we had Anita Taviore. She managed to win the 200 meters in 22.59 seconds. Great performance, not only a winning performance for her, but that also qualifies her for the African Championships this year. So definitely one to look out for, huge performance for her there. So overall, great performances at both all comers meets. As we saw, MOC athletes managed to get first place, second place, second place, and third place in their respective events at the Akure meet. Some other highlights from MOC athletes in Akure, we saw specifically Favor Ashley really lit up the track in his 100 meter heat. He managed to come away with the win in his heat in a personal best of 10.40 seconds. Huge performance that's not only a personal best, but in the year of 2020, that ranks as number one in the world for the under 20 category. Absolutely dominating. He shattered the qualifying standard for the under 20, so he's definitely going to be on his way there and definitely going to see a lot more in the 2020 season. So keep a lookout for him in that 100 meters. A couple other athletes part of the making of champions team, Miracle Thompson in those 100 meter hurdles. She managed to run 14.94 seconds, only the second time that she's ever run the 100 meter hurdles competitively. So really great performance for her there. We also had John Clifford in that 200 meters. He came away with a personal best of 21.56 seconds. Really strong performance. He also followed that up in the 400 meters running 48.78 seconds. So great performance in the 200 and 400 for John Clifford. And we also had Adiola Ayo in that 400 meters. He came up right behind Clifford 48.80 seconds. So great performances all around for the making of champions team at the Akure All Comers Meet. So those are just some of the highlights internationally and locally in Nigeria. Great performances to start off the 2020 season. Make sure you guys follow Making of Champions on all of our social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. We have a lot of content that you'll be able to follow along other Nigerian athletes who are competing around the world and in Nigeria. All right, so make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. and we'll be back again for another episode of Niger Athletics Weekly. Thanks. Hey,